Welcome back. Curran Bailey Ray's coming soon. <laughs> but before that, I've got a little confession. The next interview you're going to see is with Katie Price and was pre-recorded a few days ago and before her whirlwind wedding in Vegas. So if I don't mention it, cut me some slack. I'm not Mystic fucking Meg. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Katie Price! Smarties. Oh. Talking of dresses, yeah. the last time I saw you on the show, who was you dressing up as? Me or... Uh... Did you like it? Yeah, not bad. You've got quite a good package going on. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I actually got camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is weird for a man, I admit. <laughs> Let's have a little reminder of me as Katie. June, I'm Katie Price, I'm Beefer, I'm free from Pete. <laughs> Alex, Alex, I mean, Roxanne, come out of here, get out of here now. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Do you want a drink, love? Do you want a drink? I wouldn't want a glass of water. Doesn't it like you got. Ah, oh, here's one. How many drinks does it take to get you to be George? Two. Two. <laughs> oh, let's go Two halfway wines. there. Go on. Oh, I can't. Go and have a glass of Mary I'll down. I'll have a sip then. Oh! <laughs> right, he's back. <laughs> get that Thank down, you. yeah. Cheers. Cheers, love. Do you want to talk to me in an hour? <laughs> be more interesting. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Can you believe that Alex won Big Brother? I think it's absolutely brilliant. I knew he could do it. Yeah. 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 Amazing. <laughs> you know, and to think he went in there with all those boos, and then he comes out winning it. It's funny, isn't it? He's just won every so one round. I'm so proud of him. So proud of him. And he's a game for love. Do you see him? Do you see absolutely. Nick? Absolutely. What about Nicholas Spray Tan in that? Do you see him? Spray Tan in his willy. Oh, well, he didn't get it out. He didn't give anyone a show, did he? No, well, what I could see it all in that pink monkey. Did you see that? <laughs> Oh, it's a weird shape, like. isn't it? Do you think? <laughs> it's all right to me. Well, it looks like... Well, I haven't seen it, obviously, when it's... It looks a bit like at a right angle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you have him on the show, he might show you. Oh, do you reckon? Oh, I'm sure he will. Oh, he'll be over it's quite an moon. exhibitionist, but then that's why we suit, because we both are. Yeah, I mean, you know what you say it takes a couple of drinks for you to turn into Jordan. How many drinks does it take for him to turn into Roxanne? You'll have to ask him yourself. Have Jordan and Roxanne ever gone out together? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, it's only for the bedroom. <laughs> no? No, it's only for the bedroom. Did he tell you he was a cross-dresser or did you find, like, knickers going missing and tight? And... No, like, from I the saw beginning... A on it. No, from the beginning, he's just been honest with me from the beginning, so... And there's no big deal about it. Anyway, you know, some men wear rubber gloves and butt plugs up their arse. What's the difference? <laughs> You know, there's probably people out in the audience, they look all normal, but I'm sure they do weird things at home. <laughs> this audience, bloody look at them. <laughs> look at that woman there, behind the man in the gimp mask. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you and Alex will get married? I'd like to think so, yeah, if he could put up with me. Oh. The way things are going, it looks very good, yeah. Summer wedding? Private wedding. I hear that Vegas is lovely this time of year. <laughs> Will I be invited? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. That's nice. You could have your honeymoon in Ibiza. Never. <laughs> no. Would you ever go back to Ibiza? Do you know, I was, my friends actually said, do you want to go back there this year? And to be honest, I've got so many things going on this year. You know, that, uh, that was my rebellious year. This is business head, back to being mum, even though I was still a mum then, you know, just being... Yeah. ..focusing. Yeah, and getting married. So. That's what we want to hear, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> now, last year was probably one of the hardest years of your life. Are we getting the violins out now? Yes. Oh, I can tell by the tone of your voice. <laughs> well, I know, I can see, you know, I don't like to see anyone being slagged off and everything, but... Oh. I mean, when, what was the lowest point for you? Um, the lowest point? 
I think it's probably the fact when I'm trying to get through to Pete, but the people around him won't let me. Yeah. And because of that, even till this day, I haven't really been able to sit and talk to Pete. No. So I know for facts, but if it weren't certain people around Pete, we would have been talking a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. I think that's sad because we were together, I think it was six years. We've got kids. And at the end of the day, one day, all of this is going to end. And we're still going to have the kids. And it's like, be adults and move on. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I will, I will openly have my arms out in the house, cook for him, sort it out. Uh, hopefully one day that will happen. Yeah, I hope so too for, the, for the kids, kids really. Sake, yeah, know. yeah. Do you ever drink and dial? <laughs> no, I don't. Come on. No, I don't. You've had a few bottles of Lambrini. <laughs> Pete, I love you, Pete. Actually, I've I'm never sorry. done that. I never. do it all the time. Never, ever, <laughs> ever. To I've strangers. Done that <laughs> come back, come back. Who are you? <laughs> no way. I think that's the worst thing to do. No, never. No? Oh. No. And oh, Vinny suggested that Peter, you and Alex all have dinner together. Was that ever going to happen? Because that's I'm... one celebrity come down with me, I'd tune in for. <laughs> it was... Well, I would love that to happen. I would absolutely love that to happen. But in the realistic world, it's not going to happen. Now, when Pete's album come out, did you buy it? Do we have to keep talking about Pete? It's so boring. <laughs> I'm so over it. Sorry, love. I just... But it is. It's like... Get Pete on the show and talk about me, but his managers wouldn't have that. Oh, I know. All right, love. All right. <laughs> I do not want to honestly. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's it's fine. Boring. I'm telling him off. <laughs> <laughs> she only good jokes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, no, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know, I know. Do you still fly all the way over to LA to have your Botox and your hair extensions done? Do you know, I had Botox last week. It hasn't really kicked in yet. I've still got a crease in my nose. <laughs> you that. don't need it. Let's have a look at your face. Look, right, I'm raising my eyebrows. They don't move, do they? Is that you frowning? I'm trying. <laughs> but I'm, it's left a wrinkle in my nose and I don't want it. That's cute when you have the wrinkle in your nose. Nah, freeze it all. No expression. No! <laughs> it's all in the eyes anyway. You do the talking with the eyes. You see, when you were telling me off, I didn't actually know you were telling me off. <laughs> you were saying, don't talk about Pete. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do fly there to get my extensions done or Botox if I'm there. But why you go all the way over there? Look, you can get Botox anywhere now. You can get it I in know. your dentist, can't you? <laughs> you can! Yeah, you can get it anywhere. You can, yeah. But I, I, I just like what they do over there. What's the extensions made of? Real air? Yeah, I don't know what dead person this come from, but... <laughs> 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 well, they're on telly now. <laughs> <laughs> what were they saying? The people at home going, Gran? Gran? <laughs> get the hair from actually yeah, I don't yeah. think it is dead people I think they just grow it I think it's like blood you can donate it yes that's why I've got none I gave mine away to a, <laughs> to a glamour model <laughs> I've also got what Katie did next which is uh, coming up February the 11th I'm still filming it now so it's really current it starts from uh, when I come out of the jungle yeah uh, let's have a look at your new series my smoke alarm's going off shit the fire brigade are gonna come oh, oh no the fire is a better year for oh, you. It will be. I know it will be. Oh. Jim. Well, that's the Katie <laughs> Price we like to hear, isn't it? Give up for Katie Price. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for tonight's show. A massive thank you to Ricky Gervais, 